I have a Thrustmaster in for repair. Now, when I originally got the email for this, I thought it was kind of funny. And I was like, what's a Thrustmaster? And then I had to Google it. It's a flight stick. That's pretty cool. So stick around. Because it's a flight stick. This was bought secondhand with the seller saying that it had never been used before. And when you look at it, it looks exactly like that. It's still in the box and the foam and everything. However, when you plug it in, you go into a death spin. So maybe this is why it was never used because it was broken off the shelf. Now the controller's supposed to twist left and right. However, it seems like it's locked in position. So let's take it apart and find out what's going on. It was only four screws to take apart and what the hell is this? Is this tape? Someone was definitely in here before. This isn't brand new at all. And I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure these wires are supposed to be attached. On top of it all, this spring was out of place, which was causing our twist issue. I reset the spring and then put it back together just to see what would happen when we plug it in. And we're no longer doing a death spin. Now I found if I put my finger on two wires, I'd start turning left or right. Now this did two things. One, it told me that these wires were responsible for that death spin earlier. And two, it eventually gave me a shock. So, you know, that was stupid on my part. Anyhow, so I'm guessing that if I resolder these wires to this potentiometer, when I twist it, I'll be able to control the left and right tilt. Before doing that though, I'm just gonna clean the potentiometer. I sprayed in some component cleaner and then I just twisted it all around just to kind of clean up those contacts on the inside. Now, even though I didn't get to test it, I have a feeling that there was an issue with this potentiometer, but I'll touch on that later. With it cleaned, I put it back into the joystick and I'm gonna solder those wires back on. The only issue is I have no idea which way these wires go and every video I found, they all had different color wires. So I'm just gonna kinda wing it. Now that pun was totally unintended, but I love it anyways. I stripped the wires and then I tinned the potentiometer a little bit just to help me solder on the wires. Doing this made it way easier because I was able just to bring the wire to the one contact and solder it over with the solder that was already on the pin. Now because there's no way I got this on my first attempt, I'm going to be desoldering these wires later, so I'm not too concerned about making a full connection just yet, I just want to make sure that the wire is connected to the contact just for long enough to test. So I have this thing haphazardly put back together, I don't want to fully resemble it just because I don't know if this wire arrangement that I have on here is correct and I don't want to find out I'm wrong and disassemble the entire thing again. Now I just wanted to say a huge shout out to like the four or five videos that I've watched um, on how to repair this or like things that other people have done trying to like kind of nail down what this could be. The weird thing I noticed though is that every single one of the videos they were British. It's quite weird isn't it? Right, anyways. Let's give it a go. But seriously, these videos taught me so much. I came across this video where someone's wrapping tape around the stick like I had found it because they were trying to prevent issues with the potentiometer. This is what leads me to believe that there was an issue with the potentiometer with the first owner. I also came across a video where someone had problems twisting the controller left and right, and they explained that this spring was sometimes improperly set or not set at all. And I owe a lot to this video because they were having an issue with tilting left and right, so they took out the potentiometer and cleaned it. Now maybe the first owner didn't see this one, or he did, and that's how the wires got ripped out. Anyhow, thank you all, let's test. All right, so if I twist left, nah, nothing happens, and if I twist right, I bank left. Okay, well, I've got to redo it. So I've rotated the orange and the red wire here. If that doesn't work, that tells me that the brown wire shouldn't be on the left at all. Just a process of elimination. I think there's nine total combinations that it could be, so we're down one at least. Alrighty, so if I turn right, I bank left. If I turn left, I bank right. So I'm super close. I think I just have to change the outside wires and it should be good. So just like I had planned earlier, I only used a little bit of solder so I can easily desolder and resolder these back on in just a few seconds. And again, it doesn't look pretty. It just has to work for the moment. So because they were reverse, I just changed the outside ones around. Hopefully this works. Left, banks left, right, banks right. Nice. Beep, 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 Sweet. Now we need to reassemble it and give it a good test. Oh my God, I'm behind. I added some more solder to those wires and then I insulated them to ensure that they wouldn't short out on anything else. I reassembled it, ensuring that spring was back in its normal spot and then I cleaned it. I'm actually really excited to test this one because growing up, my father had every flight game he could find, sheep at a yard sale um, and a flight stick. And we played hours and hours and hours of those. So it was just like a big part of my childhood. So the fact that I'm able to play on like a modern game now with a joystick is super exciting. I played the Star Wars Squadrons games with the controller and I didn't really like it that much to be honest with you. So I'm actually really excited to try it with the joystick to see if it changes anything and if I'm going to enjoy it.
I did a little test flight and it's working great. So let's do some combat. This is amazing. I ended up playing through the entire campaign for uh, quality control. Um, and it works good. So uh, let's save the consoles. As usual, I'm learning this as I go, so please, I encourage you to learn with me, but don't imitate me without first doing your own research. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more like this, hit subscribe there, like this video if you liked it, and as always, let's save the consoles.